girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about books versus movie adaptations. Now, I've read some books and also watched the movies that they were based off of. Like, for an example, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. The book was good, but the movie was terrible. The Outsiders. Book was good, movie was terrible. That was then, this is now. Book was good, movie was terrible. The Fault in Our Stars. The book and the movie are both really good, in my opinion. Where the Crawdads Sing. The book and the movie were really good. Both of them made me cry nonetheless. But what if I told you that I found a, a movie a lot better than the book it was based off of? Because a lot of people like to say the book was much better than the movie. But I tend to disagree because this book I'm about to talk about wasn't that really great in my opinion. I'm not going to go into too much detail detail about it because of my low because of the low rating I give it, which is a 4 out of 10. All I can say about the book it just has something to do with sacrifice and apocalypse and trying to save the world as usual for a lot of movies and books and stuff like that. I just read the book, thought nothing of it. I just didn't understand it really. Then I started watching the movie afterwards. And I and let me say about movies. When it comes to watching movie adaptations, they love to change things from the books that they're adapting from. And I mean love it. Capital L O V E with 20 exclamation marks. They love to do it. And I'm not exaggerating. Go read a book and then watch the movie similar to the book and you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll you'll know that they love to change a lot of things. And I started watching the movie and I noticed that the first half of the movie, which the movie is called Knock at the Cabin, which already is a big difference from the book Cabin at the End of the World, the first half of the movie it was pretty similar to the book, pretty spot on. But the second half, it was kind of its own thing. Um the second half was just, was really good and ha it had a happier ending than the book because the book had a dark ending to it. And I didn't like the movie just because of its happier ending. I liked the movie because I felt like I understood the movie a bit better than the book. And it kind of made me understood the book a bit better too, even though the movie is a drastic change. And I didn't care. I really understood what was going on in the movie. like. Everyone's lives are at stake. Some people are just blindsided to what's going on. They don't believe, some people don't believe that the world is ending, but they have no choice but to do a sacrifice or whatever. It's just, everything's at stake. Would you choose to say, to sacrifice one person or sacrifice the whole world and just walk the earth with just you around the planet? Just you, no other human being around you, and just empty landscape. It's, everything is just gone. It's just you. You're the only one left in the planet. Just because you were blindsided and you didn't believe that the world was going to end. But anyway, movie was good. Book wasn't that great. But if you want to read the book to yourself, the book is called Cap'n at the End of the World, like I said before. And if you want to watch the movie, it's called Knock at the Cabin. And it's called and it's on uh, um Amazon Prime. If you have if you're a Prime member on Amazon, you can easily watch it. And if you're not, well, sorry to tell you that. So anyway, that was, those are just my opinions about the um, book versus movie adaptations. And I can say some movies are real are just as good as the books if not better, in my opinion. Everybody's got their own opinions about certain things when it comes to books, especially. But that's okay. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.